Hi guys, today we are going to be making a bubble circle sleeve. You need to trace your sleeve block. If you haven't watched my video on how to make a sleeve block, go ahead and watch it. You're probably tired of hearing me say that because I keep saying it in every video. If you've been watching these videos, <sighs> oh my god. So once you trace it, you're just going to be needing this up part. You're going to remove the down part. So when you're tracing, you can just trace up to here. Now we're going to just make it fitted. Go in one inch, one inch on the side, standard, just like we normally do it. Where's my tape measure? Now that you have this, we are now going to do the circle part. So there's usually three types of circles, maybe there are more. It's just, just the ones that I know of. There's a full circle sleeve, the half circle sleeve, and the quarter circle sleeve. I keep doing the half circle sleeve all the time, so today I'll do a full circle sleeve. So measure this part from here to here. You can do in inches or centimeters, it's up to you. 11 and an eighth. I'm just going to use 11 inches. So take whatever measurement you get, in my case 11 inches, and divide it by 6.28. I get 1.8 inches. So you can do this directly on the fabric, but I'll not do it. For the purposes of demonstration, I'll do it on a paper because I think it's easier first to understand that way. So you want to make two lengths in a, at a 90 degree angle like this and this. In this case, I'll just use these edges. So the 1.8 you got, or the measurement you got, whatever that was, from this point, measure 1.28. I mean 1.8. This way and this way. And also all round. And then mark it all. So since this is a full uh, circle cut, this part is only a quarter. So when cutting, you'll cut on fold, but then again, even that will only be half. So you cut on fold twice. The longest part should cut to here, my wrist, so from your elbow. So the, I'll give it nine and a half inches, that's the longest part. The shortest part, I want half of that, so maybe four and a half. Since it's a bubble sleeve, it's going to be folded in half to create that bubble effect. So for the nine and a half, we'll double it to give us 19 inches and then four and a half, double it to give us nine inches. So one side will be 19 inches and the other side will be nine inches. So now that we have this and this, we try and join them somehow. So if you're cutting two sleeves, you cut four on fold. So this is on fold and you'll cut four. But if you're cutting one sleeve like me, because this is just for demonstration purposes only, and I'm only doing one sleeve, I'll cut two for me. But if you're doing two sleeves, cut four, because you'll need this four times, two for each sleeve. And what happens is this part, you either gather it or pleat it to reach this um, size, As you can see, this is only quarter, so you need like more for half, and then more and more, four times of this. So you want to take your fabric, fold it in half, unfold. Like that. And then fold it again this way. So that you have two unfold. And then take your pattern and place it like that 
and then you want to cut if you don't have enough fabric you can always cut one unfold and then another unfold and then join them First we'll fold, stitch that part, and then we'll join this to this. But before we do that, So now we're going to join it to this. I'm going to stitch this, then join it to the sleeve, and then we'll be back. Then join this to the sleeve. There you have it. That's the sleeve. It's not the high low I was aiming for, but this is another type of design. And this is how it looks like on the other side. Mm -hmm. 